Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to write very large and very small numbers in scientific notation. Did you know the Earth's home lies in a solar system in the Milky Way galaxy? And ours is not the only one. The Andromeda ga galaxy is a neighboring galaxy. Can you guess how far away it is from Earth? Take a look! It is a whopping 14 quintillion 900 quadrillion. That is a lot of zeros. To save from having to write out those zeros every time, scientists use what is called scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing numbers that are very large or very small. It is always written as a number times a power of 10. The first factor must always be less than 10, but greater than or equal to 1. For example, let's write the number 8,000 in scientific notation. We aren't going to change the value of this number, just the way it looks. We know that it is going to be multiplied by some power of 10. Since 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1, we can multiply it by 8,000 without changing the value. However, this first number must be within our given constraint, greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Let's go ahead and move the decimal point to the left 1. This is the same as dividing 8,000 by 10. Since we are dividing by 10 on the left, we must multiply by 10 on the right. In doing so, the power of 0 changes to a 1. But we must keep going. Our number must be less than 10. We'll move, it, move another space to the left, again dividing by 10. So, we must multiply by another 10 on the right. Move to the left. Add another power of 10 on the right. Okay, great. Now I have the decimal 8.0, which is where I stop since it is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. This leaves me with 10 to the third power. If we want to double check our answer, we can write the number in standard notation. Standard notation is just the normal way of writing a number. 8 times 10 to the third power, or 1000, equals 8000. Good! The number 8000 written in scientific notation is 8 times 10 to the third power. Let's take a look at another example. Take 13,400 for instance. Since scientific notation often deals with decimals, I'm just going to show that this number has a decimal, decimal point right here. And to make it complete, I will add a zero at the end. Okay, so we didn't change the number, we just turned it into a decimal. In the last example, the number of spaces we move the decimal point told us the power of 10 we would multiply by. So, let's try that again. I'm going to move the decimal point until I get a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. If I stop here, my number is 13.4, but that is greater than 10, so we must keep going. 4. Okay, now my number is 1 and 34 hundredths. Great! Since I move 4 places to the left, that is the same as dividing that number by 10 four times. So I must make up for it and multiply by 10 four times. 13,400 written in scientific notation is 1 and 34 hundredths times 10 to the fourth power. It is also common to write very small numbers such as 0 .000056 in scientific notation. Again, the first factor of our final number, written in scientific notation, will be a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, times some power of 10. Right now, we can multiply by 10 to the 0 power without changing the number. This time, to get a number between 1 and 10, we will have to start moving the decimal point to the right. This is the same as multiplying by 10. Since the number is getting larger, by a power of 10, the second factor must get smaller by a power of 10. We can show this by multiplying by a fraction. If we multiply by 1 tenth, this is also the same as dividing by 10. 
or we can write this as 10 to the negative first power. Let's keep going. Move to the right, divide by another power of 10. Notice, as this number gets larger, that the power of 10 gets smaller. Move to the right, decrease the power of 10. Move to the right, decrease the power of 10. Move to the right, decrease the power of 10. And let's stop here. I have moved the decimal far enough so that my first factor is now 5.6, which is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. In doing so, I am left with 10 to the negative fifth power. 0. 0.000056, written in scientific notation, is 5.6 times 10 to the negative fifth power. All right, your turn. Write each number below in scientific notation. For part A, we must move the decimal point to the left. One, two, three times, so we write this as 7.12 times 10 to the third power. For part B, we must move the decimal one, two, three, four times. And since this number is getting larger, our power of 10 must be getting smaller. We write this as 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, how many miles away is the Andromeda galaxy from Earth? Well, we can move the decimal point to the left 19 times. This results in 1.49 times 10 to the 19th power miles away. That was much easier than writing out all of those zeros. Good job! And before I let you go, you should also note that writing a number without any fractional parts, such as 8.0 times 10 to the third in the first example, can also be written without the decimal. In this instance, 8 times 10 to the third power is also an acceptable answer. Mm -hmm.